have everybody shout Boom, boom, boom for our home team A new pirate generation, everybody shout Let's go, boys! Every side of the Pittsburgh pride At the old ball game, everybody shout Let's go, boys! This was definitely a season where everything was better. But I was still expecting more from the team and especially our rookies. So, let's take a more in-depth recap of the Pittsburgh Pirates this season. During spring training, everyone started getting injured. One player who did was Onel Cruz, another being Jorge Guzman, who would also be out for the entire season. However, despite all the injuries, we would end up finishing 12 and 16 in spring. This, along with our new rookie driven lineup, gave me hope. Gave me hope that maybe we could finish with above 30 wins on the year. As you can probably guess, that didn't happen. The regular season would end up being not as good as I had hoped. Even at the All Star break, I was still expecting a 30 win season, as up to that point, we had 13 wins. It looked possible. I mean, come on. Even the media had us looking like we could do it during spring training. What we ended up getting, however, was a punch in the gut. We went, finished the season with only one more win and 65 more losses. A terrible end to a depressing season. Along with that, Billy Newhauser, our first round pick from last season, seemed to go from incredible pitcher to an incredible bust, and he didn't improve much at all. In fact, he went down from 5 star potential to 3.5 star potential. By the end of the season, it wasn't even the number one pitcher on our team. That honor, I, I guess if you want to call it that, would, would end up going to Tim Zimmerman, who went up to a 2.5 star overall. Even then, he, re he, he pretty much reached his potential. Anyway, let's get to the probably best part of the entire save. Or, not really the save, the season. The 2023 draft was probably our best draft in terms of current overall. To begin, we had some interesting prospects in the first round that was considering, including second baseman Daniel Vargas, starting pitcher Tyler Wallace, and other starting pitcher Brian Mora. However, my pick ended up going to center fielder Matt McCaffrey. As uh, Daniel's home run power was too low at only a 25, and we probably needed batting more than pitching. It also turned out that he was a three and a half star by the time we drafted him. That's insane. After that, we drafted Jason Jenkins, a starting pitcher who, despite being in the second round, still had five star potential. After him, we drafted some more players that probably were just on our team to fill out the lineup. In conclusion, this season will definitely go down as one of missed potential. We'll have to see if next season is better. For now, I predict the team will get a 25 to 30 win season next year. Anyway, this is John signing off. Goodbye.